here we are. It's um, a few, a little while later from that last video. I've reached the time to sew the last pleat <clears throat> to the inner apron. Now you remember we had a kilt with 33 pleats, but not centered. The center pleat of the 33 was here, which meant that we had, including the center pleat, 16 pleats in that direction and 17 pleats in this direction for a total of 33. And so it was off center. You had more on one side and you had a, a, you had a level of, you had elements of detail on this side, which are absent from this side. So it was, it, when you, when you looked at it, your eye, even an untutored eye would go, hang on, that doesn't look quite right. So we've robbed <clears throat> two pleats. So now we have the center here, the white line, and then 15 on either side. The, unfortunately, because this cloth is, is light and it's been strained because the, the canvas wasn't very wide. So we have some sort of wobbles where the cloth has been pulled. And despite my best efforts, I haven't been able to correct that absolutely perfectly. So I'm hoping that with a bit of judicious ironing and shrinking, I can sort of decrease that visual effect. But here we are, I've reached the <clears throat> 15th pleat on the left-hand side, and it's time to, <coughs> pardon me, shape and, and sew the, the inside pleat, is the inside apron, I should say. We have, because this was the 16th and 17th pleat here, we have this cutout to deal with, but we're going to deal with that. But when we sew the apron in place, I'm doing this one-handed never works very well, um, the canvas is going to come to, pardon me, the canvas is going to support all but the, the crescent of it, the peak of it, as you can see. I may have to put in a backing piece of non-matching cloth here because we don't have any tart cloth to spare. I may have to put in a, <clears throat> a backing piece here to stabilize it. The, the lower part will be stabilized because either side of this cut is going to be sewn to the canvas to hold it in position. We may have to stabilize that as well, but in any case, this won't be visible when the kilt is done because the lining is going to cover it. So there we go. I'm going to, from this point, I'm going to double check to make sure I'm right. I don't do that on camera anymore. And uh, make mistakes on camera, I should say. And so I'm going <clears> to <throat> double check my, uh, my layout, sew this in place, baste it with white cotton just to stabilize everything. Probably shape the uh, the, ed the outside edge of the of the inside apron and uh, maybe take a, a break for a little bit because I've been working since seven o'clock and it's a gorgeous day outside even though it's blustery as hell. But there we go. I'll check back in when I actually have something to say. <laughs> 